I'm art director slash set designer. I make whatever you see in camera look good. And it could be a tabletop with a bottle on it to, you know, a whole set of a kitchen or a bathroom. Whatever world is called for in the script is what we have to create. I work as a scenic artist. By definition, a scenic is someone that deals with anything that has anything to do with surfaces. So we're making the scenery, which I'm in a set right now. This is a jail cell. I was in a hospital before. And I walked directly to a jail cell. So this is basically what we do all day. We're like spackling stuff, painting things, tying things together, making stuff look real. Yeah, we say the uh, the art wizards. <laughs> <laughs> True with a lot of scenic artists, we come from really different backgrounds and find our way into it in really weird ways. I got trained as a rock builder, which is a very weird job that a lot of people don't realize even exist. But all those habitats in zoos and aquariums, the artificial rocks and trees. So I learned how to carve the rocks out of cement and build the trees out of epoxy. It was definitely artistic, but it was also a lot like construction work. I was working as a PA or production assistant. I went onto the set and I saw this man painting a portrait. I had always been interested in art. I'd always drawn and painted at a young age. So I went up and I started talking to him and I found out that there were these craftsmen uh, called scenics. That led me to investigating what a scenic was. And, and once I found out you know, that they make pretty good money, I make a living at it. Um, it's a union gig for someone like me who loves to paint. I'm around paint all day. It was my day off on a Monday, I'm doing my laundry. And I go to get some food, I come back, my joint is on fire, the apartment's on fire. So there was like a couple months where I was like sleeping on a friend's floor down the street. And then my man Ajimu calls me and says, can you work tomorrow? I literally had no clothes other than what was on my body. And I had some dress shoes. I had to go buy shoes at night to go to work the next morning. And then from there, I, I got into the union. I was usually not the only woman, but often one of a handful of women with dozens of men. It did get tiresome having, you know, in that world I had to often prove myself over and over, but I could stand up to any of them in terms of how hard I could work. I feel women bosses are much more able to exert soft power, you know, soft authority, use their authority in a way that doesn't need to be loud and intimidating and all of that. Equity is the path to democracy, it's the path to justice. If we all have a piece of the pie, we can be whole. For Black creatives, especially right now, I think this is a good time to get in if you want to get in. Like what I want to see, not so much as the numbers, which is great, like it's great to see Black faces, brown faces. You know, everybody is, oh, we see, you know, we see each other, we like give the nod, like, yes. It's good to see, you know, other people like ourselves around. But I would like to see us in more positions of power, of decision making, of hiring. It just brings more flavor. It just makes it more interesting. It really does. It's like adding spice. You add a little spice, you add a little color, and then suddenly you, you got a great gumbo. My name is Julia Goldman. My name is Wayne Neho. I'm Akil Kai. My name is Aja Mukojo. I'm a scenic artist, AKA paint sorcerer, and we love to see it.